Hi, I'm Dance the White Girls. I'm going to show you how to make a bass sound using the VST plugin Basil in Ableton. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a bass sound like your regular deep house big bass sound that you're used to hearing on the records, but using a program called Basil in an interesting way using different synthesized methods from FM synthesis to wave shaping using four different oscillators all in the plugin and using a little bit of distortion. Let's go. I'm going to open up a, I have a regular drum program running, which I'm just going to go a basic house loop. And now everything in Basil starts from the initial plugin. I'm just going to make a basic little house bass sound. Bass line, I'm just going to do a regular bass line. Nothing too complicated, just so you can hear. And now you hear Basil. It comes out as a saw sound, but if you click, I'm going to turn here, and it becomes a sine, a sine wave. Right now, Baz is going strictly out into the output, no filters affecting it, so you can hear it's done. It has an FM shaping capacity, so from here, I'm going to take the second oscillator and have it modulate the first oscillator to get the classic FM sound. So now you hear this. That's kind of harsh. So what you want to do is you want to change the amount that affects it. Everything in Basil is not automatically set in the architecture. So you then have to you turn the volume down and you don't hear anything. But if you turn it up all the way, you hear more of the sound effect. I'm now going to use the envelope. I'm going to take envelope two. And I'm going to map it to oscillator two. This button here affects the volume of oscillator two. I'm going to adjust, I'm going to take the delay and move it down, move the sustain down and give it a little bit of release. Now I'm going to adjust the modifier of the volume so it affects oscillator one. That's a little bit too much, so I'm going to turn down the delay. Now, to get more of the sound, usually you modulate with FM, you would go either an octave, a octave above or about seven semitones. But in Basil, you can have it mod modulated by, uh, you can change the modifiers to overtones, which move on the harmonic scale. Now when I change the modification of the tune, I'm going to move it up. And you can hear that. There's still too much of the frequency modulation being done on oscillator one. So I'm now going to change this. The oscillator modification can be done from coarse to medium, which is not as heavy. Once that happens, you have basically the regular bass sound. I'm going to set it, turn it up some, and turn it to delay some. That's a basic regular deep house bass sound that you're used to, done in one second. It's only going through right now, though, through the straight to the out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the output from oscillator one and move into the filter one, two here, and change the output from filter one into the regular, into the output, the main output of synth. None of the sound has been changed at this moment because I haven't changed the filter. I'm now going to adjust the filter and move it about halfway down. And then from there, I'm going to change the output of the filter to be modulated and use envelope two. And there's the basic bass sound too. And this is like your regular bass sound you hear in like any deep house thing. So from there to make it more interesting, you can then take another sound and modulate it in. But the, the thing about this is that this synth can move in parallel, it can go in different ways. So I'm now going to take the output of oscillator one and I'm going to modulate oscillator three. But first, let's hear what Oscillator 3 is doing. It's just a regular bass sound. I'm now going to take that and move it and take the output from Oscillator 1 into the 
FM modulation oscillator three. It's very harsh. So I'm gonna change it down to the medium. Adjust that some and then change the move oscillator three to an octave up, which is 12 semitones. And then from there, I'm gonna move oscillator three into filter one. And then put the output from filter one back into the main so you can hear it both sounds like together. That's pretty good. We're trying to cut off down some. And then from there, that's basically a regular house, deep house bass but you can still make it sound bigger. One way to do that is, if you affect the gain on an oscillator on filter one, it can then go and it can become distorted, almost like a feedback on a move if you're used to like analog synths. Changing the gain from filter one will then give it a more distorted sound, but it will gain up some. It gives it a rawer sound. And then I'm also gonna turn the resonance some. And the cutoff down. And then, again, that's a pretty good bass sound. But if you want to make it bigger at the same time and at the same time I have a different sound, you can then take the output from filter one and the filters can go in parallel or serial. If I go from here, the output from filter one is going to go into filter two. And then you can hear filter two in the main together. That's filter two, nothing is happening right now. You don't hear anything because there's no cutoff. Filter two works different than filter one and that it can either go from backwards, it, it goes both ways. If it's back to the left, there's nothing happening or in the middle, the middle is the zero of it. I'm gonna apply a different envelope. I'm gonna take envelope three and I'm gonna map that to filter two's cutoff. And that's the output from, it's, it's getting filtered more and more filtered. I'm gonna actually move it up a little bit some. Now, if you want a more dramatic effect, if you move the gain from filter two, if you move it backwards, it works the same on all ones, it will then make it more dramatic as it forces to make up. So I'm gonna move to the left. And now I'm gonna move the resonance up high. And now it's a more acidy sound. And now from there, I'm gonna move, mix that in with then filter one. Sorry, let me clip over. And you move everything by dragging the cable. And there, that's a pretty big sound. But again, you can then go bigger and I'm always trying to make my bass sound as big as possible without sounding like a dubstep god. And from there, I would usually add in another oscillator, but I don't want to use too much FM. So from there, you have the choice to use oscillator four. Now, there on oscillator four, that's actually taking back everything. Let's move towards nothing. Don't hear anything. Here's the output of oscillator four. Another sign. Now, this synth has wave shaping and it has fractal resonance, which is a whole nother thing. Which it's hard to explain, really can't do it. I'm gonna move the, this button here is the, to choose what wave you want it to be, the shape to. I'm gonna choose a square wave. And then I'm gonna apply the same filter and filter three envelope three that we use for oscillator three to the wave shaping. I move that up and you get, you can hear a square wave. I'm gonna move it down so it's not so, oh. I'm not so, it's not so dramatic. Then to introduce some more harmonics, I'm gonna move it to an overtone.
Actually, let's keep it regular. Let's keep it regular, sorry. And now I can then mix this in with, with filter two. And now let's hear the mix of oscillator three and oscillator four and filter two going together. And now with filter one together. And that's a, basically a big bass sound. Now, if you're thinking you don't want to deal with having all these things on one sound, on one sound level, and you're not going in different directions, and you want to be filtered at the same time, you can then go from there. Actually, it's a little too calm, but I'm going to do it anyway. You can then take the, the output from filter one, and filter two and move into filter three. Let's take these off and you can hear them together. And then if you click the page called Tweaks and FX, you can then see filter three. Click on filter three, move the cutoff down, move the gain up. And then from there, there's no, there's no drag and drop of cables. But you can see the output, you can choose a cable. I'm going to choose envelope 2, move it up. And then that's the basic sound. And then while I'm here on the second page, you can see your FX control, your delay, and it has a spring reverb. So to make the sound bigger, I'm now going to add a little bit of distortion. Turn the output down to this portion, and then add the imp and then move the input up to overload it. And then from there, you can move the little. You can change the EQ of the distortion. I'm going to turn the highs down because the bass sound. Move the low, and then you can choose the center frequency and move that down, and the post to move that down. And then from there, move the simp one, and you can, and then that's your bass sound. Hi, this is Dan the White Girl. Thanks for hanging out with me at Scratch DJ Academy as I show you how to make bass sounds in Basil.